I died tonight. <laughs> she can't just come back like this. It's not possible. For the show to work, it really needed to take place in a very physically powerful environment. Nature is this vast, powerful force that looms over all of our lives, and we felt like the best place to do this would be in sort of a mountain town where you would really feel the forces of nature all around the characters. It's shot in Vancouver, and in this sort of carnivorous nature, this idea that something beautiful can be kind of deadly. It's very eerie and creepy and, and beautiful, but there's a sense of, of danger somehow. Our director of photography is an incredibly talented visualist who we felt could bring a naturalism to the look of the show, but also with just enough magic to make you believe that this town wasn't quite ordinary. Only in an ungodly place like this could you and I exist. Directors are really, really important because you set up a team that's there all the time and then you're inviting in a guest to bring their unique vision to that team. It's kind of like having a, a visual dance partner. You try to work together to create images that are compelling, strong, evocative. The mood that I'm trying to create is impending doom. And you feel it in the scenes. You feel it coming. You feel something's going to happen. There is a broodiness to it. There is a lyricism to it. There's that deep sadness that sort of goes right to your core. What if I'm turning into something bad? We're really interested in bringing a touch of mystery and what we refer to mostly as magical realism, a sense that magical, strange, beautiful things are happening here. It explores themes that touch all our lives, loss, faith, love, forgiveness, the greatest hits of human nature. <laughs> My goal as producers is always to put a bunch of collaborators together to make something that's better than any one of us could make on our own.